in this video we are going to tidy up our automation and we are going to also learn how to create a procedure the procedure is going to be useful for creating uh, modular blocks for our automation and also for keeping our code tidy clean and organized so as you can see here i have uh, a, a lot of lines and connections and different logic components in one single automation i would like to break this into pieces to make it more manageable and also to make it uh, exchangeable between other projects and other automations that i am going to create so i'm going to delete this that i created before and we're going to do this step by step so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder in which we're going to put our procedures and inside this folder we're going to add a new automation and this automation is going to be called login i tend to put a underscore before login in order to recognize it more easily that is a procedure so we created the login automation so our automation so far what does it do it takes the email field and the password field it uh, after the click of a button it collects this information it waits for linkedin to load it inputs the data into the into the tech into the text box and the password and here we are missing something we are missing the button enable and button click perform click so I, i'm trying to connect this to here and this to here and this to here and as you can see this is just getting messier and messier so i'm going to move all the login part of my automation into the login procedure i created so in order to as you can see here i'm working on my auto my procedure automation underscore login to create the procedure i'm going to add an entry point and when i add an entry point i see that here in the object explorer an arrow execute appeared meaning that this is now a procedure that i can launch from other automations but we will see this in a second so after i add an entry point i'm going to also add two exit points one is going to be called success meaning that if our automation go finishes well we're going to be redirected there and the other one is going to be called failure We're going to also add two labels and one we're going to call success and the other one failure now what is going on here so once we come in here show procedure execute we're going to have to get out of the procedure either via success or via it is usually good practice to add a message there will be a warning or why the procedure went into failure we will see how to manage errors and debug the application in another video for now let's continue finishing our automation in our procedure so let's add in the login components of the login part for LinkedIn. So we need the email and we need the text and then we need the password from our login form. After that, we're going to have to wait for the web page to load. After that, we're going to input the email and input the password we are gonna enable the login button and we're gonna perform a click on the login button 
Now let's connect all the logical components of our automation. Let's connect the data components of our automation. This is wrong. Password, password, email to email. Now let's add a jump to failure. So what does this mean? So it means that if we arrive here and the web page does not load, the procedure will exit and it will go into failure. Now if we go to the end of our procedure and add a success, this will be the exit point of our procedure. It's a label that will point to success exit point. So this is how we create a very basic procedure. Now, if we go back to our main automation, here from the Solution Explorer, I can see the hierarchy of what I'm developing. We can delete all of the parts that we mo moved into our login procedure. And instead, we can just add we can click on our in our object explorer we can click on our automation on our procedure go into the methods and drag in and drop the execute method this is going to auto start our procedure so on success we go to the other page and we continue And we continue with our LinkedIn automation. So in order to test this, we can even maybe add a breakpoint. Break now let's see this in a different video. So let's just start. Let me log out of this. Okay. Log out of LinkedIn. The solution is building. So now with the click of the button, I should be logged into LinkedIn and uh, be on the first page of LinkedIn. Let's give this a try. Okay, well, I made a mistake probably with my password and my email. However, nevertheless, the automation worked. It uh, took the input data and it inserted them into the into the web page. So, in the next in the next video, we're gonna put a breakpoint here. And we're going to debug in the most basic way our automation and just understand what is going on. Thank you for watching.